Okay guys, so today uh, I want to talk about something that I got a, a few negative comments on one of my video about um, basically my riding is dangerous which is all to do with lane splitting, filtering, whatever you want to call it. So today, um, I'm purely by chance, I'm on, about to hit this absolutely horrendous road that leads from um, Suzuka circuit back to the main back to the city and it's a horrible freaking road it's only two lanes wide and it's literally full of um, full of trucks non-stop trucks so I'm gonna have to do a bunch of lane splitting otherwise I'm just never gonna get get home in time so basically what what I think is about motorcycles if you're gonna have a bike and then ride at the same pace as a car like if you're in a traffic jam and you're gonna sit behind a car and when the car moves five meters you move five meters too and you don't ever lane split you never overtake I just don't see the point of having a bike you might as well just buy a car if you like the feeling of wind in your face or whatever buy a convertible like the main point of having a bike for me is it's fast you don't have to queue it's cheap it's economical obviously fun but the main thing is it's fast driving in a car just annoys the shit out of me stopping at red lights and then missing the red light missing the next set of lights because the other people were too slow or something cars are gay unless you're on a mountain road or a racetrack then they're fun so, so today I'm about to hit that road in about one kilometer I think oh, another freaking red light see if this was in a car I'd be so frustrated right now because it's a bike having a red light means So obviously I do some riding that is irresponsible, there's no doubt about that, like what I just now, what I did just now was irresponsible but there was no one in front of me, there was no one coming this way, it's not like I'm in, endangering anyone's lives, obviously it's illegal but that, that's all. But uh, the video in question was just me riding through the city at night time and uh, in my in my mind, I was r riding so damn sensibly. Like, it's much slower than usual. Uh, trying to, to do what I thought was just to capture some nice video footage at night time. And, uh, yeah, that was it. But a couple of guys on the motorcycles forum, or motorcycleforum.com, I forgot what it is, were just going mental at me. You're endangering pedestrians lives you went into a bicycle lane you broke the speed limit like they were going going mad at me and I, I was honestly shocked because for me the riding that I was doing in that video was extremely sensible <laughs> so God knows what they'll think about today's video but anyway this is the road in question the disgusting horrible route 23 so in a minute we're probably going to hit some uh, some traffic and then I'm just going to talk through what I'm looking for when I'm lane splitting how to decide if, if I'm going to do it or not how to judge the, the size of the gap just basically like what, what it is that I do that I think makes my riding safe or you know safe, as safe as can be for lane splitting because obviously there's inherent risks with um, lane splitting so anyway observation skills is number one for any kind of uh, riding and driving or even flying which I have done on occasion so you just gotta observe everything and just keep in mind as well that other road users just this might not be a fact but just think that everyone else on the road is an idiot except you 
So by thinking that, you're always expecting that this guy in front or this girl next to you, whatever, they're going to do something dumb. And just always keep in mind that they probably haven't seen you. I mean, with this stupidly loud exhaust and the LED headlight, you know, it would be pretty hard for them not to see or hear me. But there is a chance. So, with that in mind, just make, just keep in mind that you might not have even been seen yet. And so when you're coming, undertaking or overtaking someone, they could be shocked, they could react to the, the noise or the wind or something. Anyway, here we go. This guy, white car, yellow plate, doesn't look like he's going to change lanes. He's got his hand on the top of the steering wheel. A bit too relaxed. Oh, this guy's just going to cut it up. He's going right. Okay, these two trucks, should I undertake them now? That guy's obviously not going to turn. He's in a hurry in a truck. How about this guy in the little van and the truck on the right? Do I think that they're going to change lanes anytime soon? No, I don't think so. That truck there, he started braking when he saw these cars. He could have gone, ah, fuck this, the left, la left lane's less busy and he could have just cut in. But I didn't think he was going to. And I was looking at his tyre the whole time. Like this truck here, I'm looking at his tyre. Now there's a gap here, I'm going to go for it. Hard to see that green signal there. That's another danger as well. If I undertaken, undertook that truck just now and then someone come in this direction and decide, yes, let's go. That could have happened. Alright, a long bridge. Green van, uh, green silver van, two silver vans. I'm gonna go for it because now they can't go left or right. They gotta go straight. It's not like they could change lanes. This guy could. He's not gonna. This gap here, nice and wide, absolutely no problems. Recycling truck full of scrap metal ahead. Could some shit could fl come flying out of that? That's a bit scary. But this truck on the left, the panel kind of truck, he's just going straight. Now this gap I can take. By a motorcycle. Now this fucker, yellow number plate means it's only 600 cc. Slow as fuck. Another one. Get out of this lane, you slow coach. These are usually driven by women as well because they're like easy to drive, they're small and cheap. So when I see these, I tend to think that there's a woman driving that. Now I don't mean that in a derogatory way, like, oh no, woman driver, she's probably going to do something stupid. More likely, because she's a woman driver, she's just going to go straight. And she's not going to pay any attention to the fact that there's someone behind them going faster. She's just going to poodle along, going to pick her kids up from school or whatever. Okay, more people. He's not going anywhere. This guy could quite easily go left now. Yeah, he indicated and he saw me, so he's good. But I gave him a bit of room. Now he actually wants to go faster. Another yellow number plate, should be in the left lane. Going too slow. So this guy in the left is obviously in a hurry and he's probably going to do something dodgy now. So we know he's already changed lanes once, so he's probably going to come right again now. He's probably waiting for me. But I don't want to overtake him right now because he might decide to change lanes right at the wrong moment. Nah, he doesn't look like he's going to. Fuck it, I'm going. It's starting to break. Okay, nice big open gap here. So, what are the dangers here? Well. Any one of these drivers could just decide they're going to get into the left lane now because there's a truck turning right who's overhanging the lane or something like that. But it was all good. Another yellow plate. Okay, so coming up to a red light. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going. This truck could change lanes, but I doubt he's going to. Okay, 
say plenty of room here as well. Oh, something dodgy is going on up here. There's a Hummer that seems to be all over the road. Talking to his friends or something. This is a scary one, but I'll go. Okay, black Honda, excuse me. White Honda, excuse me. Prius. Another Prius. Now this is not a gap that I'm going to go for, especially on a corner. But this guy is going too slow for me. Not happy with this speed, so I'm going to have to undertake him. But he looks like he could change lanes. It's just started braking. He might have wanted to change lane then. So yeah, someone who's watching this could think that I'm riding really dangerously if I wasn't talking. If I wasn't telling you guys what I'm actually doing and what I'm thinking about, I could say yeah, it looks sort of dangerous too. Alright, am I going to fit in here? Yes, I am. Am I going to fit in here? No problem. Oh look, I used to have that jacket. <sighs> Gonna have to wheelie, aren't I? It's the rules. See someone with a monster jacket, you have to wheelie. <laughs> Okay, so basically guys, I'm just going to carry on sp splitting these lanes, playing with this traffic a little bit, because I want to get home before these cars. Alright, so just be careful. Uh, one of the things, the main things I always say with any kind of racing or riding or driving, motorsports, anything, it's just observation. Just got to look at everything around. There's a guy breaking there in the silver one. Why is he breaking? Why did he break it, in fact? There's plenty of room. Oh, this guy looks dodgy. So yeah, just just be observant and just keep in mind that everyone else on the road is an idiot. Even though they may, may not be, it's just good to think that. So, sort of a pessimistic outlook. I'm not saying this for all of life, but you know, just think the worst could happen. Be prepared for the worst. Okay, I've beaten that traffic, so I'm out of here, guys.